Hello, this is a Buka Micro CT training video looking at the downsizing of projection images in NRECON. Downsizing of projection images means binning the projection image pixels 2x2 two two or 4x4 four four in order to reduce the resolution but increase the signal to noise and density resolution of reconstructed images. This function is to be found in the Actions menu and the item Resize Copy Dataset right here. But first we will look at why do we want or need to resize the datasets to increase the pixel size. Take a look at this dataset. This is a scan of an orthopedic implant paste. Now it has a highish density containing calcified material. If we look at the reconstructed cross-section, we see a nice reconstruction of the constituent mineralized grains. Inversion can also help us to see the density structure. However, looking at high magnification, we can see a lot of noise in the image which would require a very long scan time in order to minimize. Now the resize of the projection images offers an opportunity to enhance the separation of objects of slightly different density. In this cross-section we can see grains of a range of different densities, some of them with a very small contrast in density. If we import these reconstructed images into the analysis software, we can look at the signal to noise ratio in the binarized or segmented image. If we seek to binarize a high density component, we find that there are a large number of noise dots in this image, although visually, the grains are quite clearly visible. The signal to noise ratio means that in binarization, a lot of noise has to be overcome. However, if in Enricon, using the resize copy dataset function, we resize the images by a factor of two, that is the projection images, not the reconstructed, but the projection images, then the image that we obtain looks like this. And if we look at the density histogram, we see that the amount of noise is reduced. Furthermore, we could re re resize the projections by a factor of four. Then the image we obtain becomes like this. And if we looked at the density histogram now obtained, we see that the particles can be binarized almost without noise. And furthermore, if we look at the histogram of density, we can actually see the emergence of peaks of different density, which were not resolved when we looked at the data set at the maximum original resolution. Here is a density histogram at the full 4K reconstruction. Here is the histogram at 2K with the suggestion of some peaks. Here is the reconstruction at 1k with four times resizing and now three or four density peaks become clearly visible. This is the rationale for doing projection image resizing. It enables materials of a close density to be resolved more easily than they can at high resolution where this process is complicated by noise. So how do we accomplish the resizing? It is very straightforward. We go to Actions menu and choose Resize Copy Dataset. If we choose to resize by a factor of 2, we enter 2 as the projection resize factor. 
we choose to resize by 4, then we enter 4 as a resize factor. There is an additional factor, angular resize factor, which means resampling across projection images, reducing the number of projections. But we recommend that in most situations this should not be done and the value should be left at 1. If we choose to resize by 2, we can click on OK, in which case the resizing begins immediately, or we can schedule the resizing in the batch mode, clicking on this box, and then the job will be added to the batch manager. Once the resizing is complete, you will see in the folder containing the projection images a subfolder with the name rs underscore and then a number followed by a second number. rs underscore 2 underscore 1 means that the projections were resized with a projection resize of 2 and an angular resize of 1, i.e. no angular resize. Likewise, rs 4 1 means that the projections were resized by a factor of 4. The subfolder can be opened and the projections loaded. After which, they can be reconstructed with the higher signal to noise ratio. Thank you for your attention.